Namaste. Welcome to the fresh episode of Soul Talk. So today we are going to have interesting talk with uh, Sir of uh, Mr. Uday Deshpande. He is synonymous with Malakam. So you can see at my back there are like poles, so which are used in Malakam. So Malakam is a traditional sport. So how it has been originated? How the progress is happening right now? What is the future for Malakam? So we would like to know from Mr. Uday Deshpande. So the most important factor, like you must have seen, like in you know many reality shows that you know these people are performing Malakam, and it's like you know you can just you know keep your breath on hold when you are watching them. So it is so breathtaking. It is so you know picture sake, and you just want to watch them, and you feel like how they are doing it. It is kind of synonymous with gymnastics. It is kind of synonymous with yoga. So I just want to understand in detail, and you people must want to understand in detail. Like you know, what is Malakam about? What is the future? Whether you can practice for yourself, whatever old you are. So let's understand from Mr. Uday Deshpande sir. Namaste, sir. Namaste. Welcome to Soul Talk. Thank so you. So today we want to know because you are known for Malaka Modi. Like you know, from my childhood, I have heard many stories of you, and still now. So I just want to understand in a better way that mm-hmm. what exactly is Malaka? Because of course, Malaka. This is the word you know. It is synonymous like with uh, Sanskrit and Marathi as well. Right. So I want to understand where exactly it was originated in India and how long back. Okay. Malla is a wrestler. Yeah. Kham is a pole. So a pole used by the wrestlers to practice their wrestling tricks is known as Malla Kham. We get the references right from Mahabharata and Ramayana period because Lord Hanuman is the first promoter of Malla Kham. Oh. We get some references in Malla Puran where Lord Krishna is teaching some youth to climb on the pole oh. and there is one kapala kurantaka yoga where there are some references of rajju yoga uh, yoga performances with the help of a rope oh in 1135 there is a manasol last epic written by someshwar chalukya in that epic also you get some pictorial references of malkam but the history tells us that during the regime of second bajirao peshwa in pune he has got 52 wrestlers whose job was just to practice wrestling teach wrestling there were two wrestlers from nizam of hyderabad one was ali and one was gulab okay. and they were both 6 and 1/2 7 feet in height and well built and it was a reputation that nobody so far is able to defeat them so they were going from south to the north they came up to pune they gave the challenge to the court if any wrestler is ready to practice to wrestle against us accept our challenge or you can accept your defeat and we will go to the north okay. out of these 52 wrestlers none was ready to accept this challenge but there was one youth of 17 18 years of age his name was balambat dada devzar his main job was to preach god and uh, do all the rituals in the temple but taking into consideration the repetition of the core he accepted the challenge and asked for some time limit it was granted to him he went to nasik district nifad taluka there is one kothure a small place village where his mother used to reside he took blessings of his mother and then he went to goddess saptashringi there was saptashringi seven horns so it is in nasik we call it vanichi devi so it's a goddess very well known for her power and he met the penance and the goddess was pleased with him she said lord hanuman will come in your dreams and he will show you some wrestling tricks like hanuman showed some wrestling tricks against a wooden pole 
Balam Bhattara erected that pole, practiced the wrestling tricks, came back to Pune in the stipulated time, and he defeated one of the wrestlers, Ali, in such a way that Gulab ran away. So he named that pillar, which gave him the technique of defeating a wrestler greater in weight, height, and uh, age, and reputation. How to defeat the wrestler? That technique was given to him by that pole. That's why that pole was named as Malkham, Malakham. Unfortunately, after this, the Peshwas were defeated by Britishers, yeah. and they were made to reside in exile in Brahmavart, that is about 35 kilometers from Kanpur. Now that time there were no vehicles like trains and cars or buses. So they used to travel on foot from one place to the other. So from Pune to Kanpur, they went by the route at Pune to Surat, Surat to Baroda, Baroda to Ahmedabad, Ahmedabad to Devas, Gwalior, Ujjain, Jhansi, Varanasi and Kanpur. So wherever they had halt for few days, Balambaddara started teaching Malkham over there. He started Akhadas. And even after 250 years now, the Akhadas are still in existence. There is Malkham in the Akhada, but unfortunately nobody is there to learn Malkham or nobody is there to teach Malkham. When I had been to Kanpur in 2019, the Konbhat Akhada was there, where there was a pole Malkham, where Balambaddara used to practice. And even the Jangya, what he used to wear, that was also displayed there. Oh. But when I went there, after two years, it was closed, there was a lock at the door, and the board was, this place has been purchased by one Sonawala family, and uh, a big mall is to be constructed here. So all this heritage of India is going to be suppressed, and we want to keep it alive and rejuvenate those things back again. Yeah, we have to rejuvenate. And uh, this Malakam uh, name, uh, it was uh, from the ancient time or it was from the uh, Balambar times? Huh, earlier it was known as Malastambha okay. or Swami Nityananda of Bangalore, Nityananda mm. Ashram. He named the pole Malkam as Shivastambha Yoga and the rope malkam as kundalini Raju yoga he has got centers about 180 centers all over the world and he has started teaching malkam in almost all the centers in the world okay that's really great thing and the opportunity to go to singapore and malaysia and teach malkam in those centers also that's really nice Okay, so I see yoga is common like you know since long time. So uh, when uh, Balambhat, he was practicing this Malakham, so he was also practicing this Raju Yoga? Actually, Balambhadara started the pole Malakham okay. and one of his disciples, mm -hmm. Damodar Bhat Moghe, after 100 years, he started Kain Malakham. Okay. So there was a finger thick cane about 15 feet in height. If the cane was to be dipped in water the whole night, so it used to get very soft. And then tied from the ceiling and perform different yogic postures and acrobatic exercises on that cane, which is known as cane malkam. These canes were imported from Singapore. And then due to the change in the import policy, the import of cane was stopped. And we don't get that quality of cane in India. So the rope was substituted in place of cane. And the rope malkam was started. This was about 50 years back. Okay, so in very recent time recent that time. means. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I don't see like, you know, now we say like malkam is restaurants, you know, they are doing some exercise around the uh, pole. pole. But I haven't seen any footage so far in media where wrestlers are actually practicing around the 
पोल नाउ अ डेज इट इज लाईक यु नो अदर पीपल आर प्रॅक्टिसिंग लाईक यंगस्टर्स आर देअर नाव यू जस्ट मेन्शन यु नो समाइम बॅक दिज पीपल हू आर इन टू लाईक यु नो आर्ट आर्ट फॉर्म लाईक यु नो दे वॉन्ट टू डिस्प्ले ड्रामा म्युझिक थ्रू दिस सो दे आर डुईंग इट बट वाय नॉट रेसलर्स बेसिकली मलखम इज द कॉम्प्लिमेंटरी एक्सरसाइज नॉट ओनली फॉर द रेसलिंग बट फॉर ऑल अदर स्पोर्ट्स डिसिप्लिन बिकॉज मलखम डेवलप्स युअर स्ट्रेंथ स्टॅमिना स्पीड एन्ड्युअरन्स फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी न्यूरोमस्क्युलर कोऑर्डिनेशन बॅलन्स कॉन्फिडन्स करेज सो ऑल दिज मेंटल अँड फिजिकल ॲबिलिटीज आर बेस्ट डेव्हलप ऑन दिस सिम्पल ॲपरेटस वेन वी गो टू द जिम देर आर डिफरंट मशीन्स फॉर डिफरंट बॉडी पार्ट्स Yeah. like if you want to do the calf exercises you have got different machine for the thighs there is different machine for the biceps triceps there is different machine for the back muscles there is different machine but here only one pole or one rope and it gives best exercise within shortest time all your abilities are developed so malkham is a nice complementary exercise to develop the skills to be practiced or utilized in any of the sports activities it is also known as martial art uh, malkham malkham oh. like a self defense all your core strength or your abilities are developed it is also performing art like music dance drama they use malkham as one of the props it is also the best exercise for developing the fitness so it's a fitness sport so there are different tags attached to malkham one may call it a competitive sport one may call it performing art one may call it martial art or a fitness sport but it gives maximum exercise within shortest time so usually in earlier times wrestlers used to practice malkham to develop their wrestling tricks but now it is so advanced that wrestlers don't get time to practice other things than their own wrestling tricks like gymnasts also used to practice malkham earlier because gymnastics was the same way it requires strength stamina speed endurance and the core strength but i am sure any kind of sports person if he practices malkham he will improve his skill used for his sport as well i certainly like when we see these you know youngsters are doing it like you know there is a lot of uh, flexibility you can right, see in the muscles right, and joints right. mobility is there and of course you know other qualities also improve focus yeah. balance and confidence concentration so these are very important things in any area not only in uh, sports i think Absolutely. each area of life you require it one of my colleagues dr neeta tatke she has made research on this for 5 years oh. when she was doing her phd from SNDT University Bombay and she has proved that by pra- regular practice of malkham you improve your decision making the positive thinking and all the abilities like concentration and memory all these abilities are developed by regular practice of malkham so it is useful for housewives it is useful for students it is useful for the corporates it is useful for the uh, businessmen anybody for any walk of life the practice of malkham is essential that's certainly so at what age one should start is there any particular age one should start there is no higher age limit usually we start at age of 5 when a child is independent of learning and uh, he enjoys the easy things like swinging or climbing yeah using the strength a sense of achievement is there and uh, even if you are school going child if you are going to be a, a college going student or even uh, people uh, of middle age people of senior citizens who have crossed 60 years of age one of my students shantilal sangvi he started learning malkham at the age of 82 oh and when we conducted the first world championship in mumbai on 16th and 17th of february 2019 he gave a live demonstration there when he was 89 years of age so That's there is no higher age fantastic. limit anybody of any age can learn and my simple principle is if you want to learn it and if you come to me and if you cannot do it that means i cannot teach 
so anybody of any even i go you to you are a great teacher ha <laughs> uh, and this is beginning with blind students there are three blind schools in mumbai at happy home for the blind and uh, victoria Me- memorial school for the blind and shrimati kamla mehta dadar school for the blind so i used to go to all these three schools and teach blind students performing malkam so earlier my strategy was to give a demonstration show them what to do and then tell them see how, how i have done it now you come forward you do it i will help you but there was no point in showing them because they cannot see so every action was converted into precise words and explain them see there is a rope in front of you hold your hands to the rope put your left leg inside hold the rope in the left toe then make the left leg straight climb up so every action was precisely worded and they just listen to it and blindly follow it and they perform and they perform in such a fantastic way that when you look at them while they are performing you cannot believe that they are blind that's really nice mm-hmm. that's a big thing so when exactly you started your mal- malakam journey at what age yeah very old story when we were staying at kala choki we were three brothers and one sister four of us siblings my father used to work in a textile company there and the father of my mother my grandfather he was a freedom fighter and he was an engineer who built this km hospital also oh. so after retirement he was staying in pune so my mother used to take all these three brothers and one sister to pune in the vacation so in pune all the people were asleep but my grandfather used to get up at 5 o'clock, 5 o'clock in the morning and used to start his yogic practices i was hardly 2 and 1/2 3 years old so i used to get up sit in front of him and try to imitate what he is doing so he was very much impressed he said uh, you take uday to kale guruji the founder of shri samarth vayam mandir he was also a freedom fighter and they were together in the freedom struggle so they know each other very well so we were staying at kala choki we had one small morris 8 car and my father used to drive mother used to sit by his side with three brothers one sister sitting at the back of the car and he used to come to shivaji park he used to drop us in this samarth vayam mandir and go to practice badminton across the road in municipal gymkhana and uh, he was a badminton player he was the partner of nandu natekar also yeah so uh, while going back he used to pick us up and take us home back so since then that means at age of 2 and 1/2 3 i started learning malkam from late pl kale guruji the founder of this institution and it continued even when we shifted to mahim i was going to the school lokmanya vidya mandir and uh, 7 o'clock was the school but i used to come here at 5:30 to 6:30 in the morning practice malkam then go home have bath and just before first bell at 7 o'clock i used to reach the school also okay that was a great and, discipline actually and at this very young slowly age. increased you can call it a passion or mission that i started teaching small kids over here and then we gave demonstrations at hundreds of places started coaching centers at different places even on the day of my marriage also i came to the gym in the morning <laughs> practice and then went for the marriage when i was in uh, i was service uh, serving with mahindra and mahindra international tractor company of india so i used to get up early and then go to the office then from there come back to the gym in the evening and then go home in the light, night so all these years for the last more than 50 years it's the same routine coming in the morning at 4:30 here and going home at 9:30 in the night so do you running any teachers training program then we have conducted many such courses okay the first by malkam federation of india and uh, bombay university the teachers training course which was held in mumbai university in marine lines university sports complex and uh, 25 people from all over india and one student was from germany ruth anzenberger and it was conducted for 10 days 
even before that the first ns nis certificate course in sports the malkam teachers training course was conducted at balewadi in pune in 94 and there were six students from all over india and it was six weeks course where i was the trainer for them then we conducted on behalf of maharashtra amateur malkam association then bombay district malkam association from samarth vayam mandir so many teachers training courses we conduct the first judging course in malkam was conducted under the auspices of vishwa malkam federation there is the international federation for malkam before this first world championship mm-hmm. and there were 25 people from all over india from usa from singapore and they appeared for the exam and those who qualified they were appointed as judges during the first world championship okay so i formulated the uh, judging course how to evaluate the performance a rule book was formed and then uh, we conducted this refreshers course for the judges for all, all over india and we started conducting demonstrations abroad as well now so far i have been to about 50 countries including singapore malaysia vietnam and in europe almost all the countries like spain portugal italy france germany then uk usa zec republic and uh, mauritius in germany we go every year for the last 16 years during the month of august september okay. and we conduct two workshops in each workshop there are 50 children so in one year 100 german children learn malkam so for the last 16 years 1600 german children have learned malkam and they might be teaching it as well and then so they have learned. started teaching malkam in different parts of uh, germany and in switzerland and france so malkam is spreading that's really nice so how is the spread in india india there are many people who are really made it a devotion and determination the development of malkam right from pondicherry tamil nadu karnataka goa the southern part of india andhra pradesh then uh, gujarat and uh, the central uh, like madhya pradesh uttar pradesh and punjab chandigarh haryana and even in the northeast like assam arunachal meghalaya manipur tripura in all these states i had been instrumental in organizing some demonstrations workshops training camps and then giving demonstrations at different events like northeast sports festival or uh, university uh, all india interversity competitions and now malkam is developed on a very large scale earlier even malkam was even not recognized by government of india we were may- conducting the national championships and we asked the government requested to give recognition to this sport but those uh, babus sitting in delhi they used to say malkam is uh, not a sport it is an exercise like dand baithak so you can get exercise for the whole body but it is not a sport we showed them the rule book what we have framed along with the pictures and how to evaluate a performance we have conducted so many judging courses we have been conducting the national championships so many states are participating in the national championships but they were not giving permission i had written letters to many mps and i have collected the letters from them addressed to the central sports ministry about 180 mps from different states have written letters to the sports minister requesting to recognize malkam as a sport but it was not getting materialized one mohan ravle the mp from central mumbai he asked a question in the parliament i have got a copy of that question and the answer given in the parliament by margaret alwa who was the sports minister then the question was is the game of malkam recognized by the government of india and what the government is doing to promote this game abroad and the answer was we have asked for certain information from malkam federation of india on the receipt of that federation we will decide 
about the recognition of the sport and the second part was more uh, uh, not in a good taste it was saying that <clears throat> to promote the game abroad is the sole responsibility of the concerned federation and not of the government when china is doing everything to promote wushu when japan is doing it for judo when korea is doing it for taekwondo when malaysia is doing for sepak takraw so all the countries are trying to promote their sport and government of india is saying it is the responsibility of the concerned federation and not of the government but unfortunately we con- continued our efforts and in 1996 when mukul vasnik was the sports minister mohan rawle called me ude come to delhi immediately so i took a late night flight went to delhi and early morning at uh, or 11 o'clock when the central offices opened we went to the shastri building where all this uh, uh, department of sports government of india office were situated and mukul vasnik the then sports minister i sat him with, with him for about 1 hour and explained him all the development what we have done so far the development of malkam in different states of our country conduction of nationals for so many years and the results appeared in different press from the rule book and everything and he was impressed immediately called his uh, secretary and gave us a letter that malkam federation of india headed by shri udaya deshpande as secretary is recognized by department department of sports government of india so that was the first achievement that That's malkam crazy. federation was Big recognized then from there we went to suresh kalmadi who was the railway minister then and he gave a letter stating that the malkam players traveling to take part in the national championships will get a concession in the railway tickets so that was the second achievement and in 1998 indian olympic association also recognized this sport so now we have started different countries uh, malkam federations like us malkam federation it is located in uh, edison new jersey one chinmay patankar who is a uh, ex malkam player from pune he is a chatrapati award winner also national champion for many years but now more than 20 years he is staying in us so he started us malkam federation <coughs> then we started germany malkam federation malaysian malkam federation japan malkam federation nepal malkam federation all these are registered and they are affiliated to the vishwa malkam federation so now the malkam is known as the fastest growing sport in the world and i am very happy that honorable, honorable prime minister shri narendra ji modi has mentioned in his man ki baat that malkam is our ancient traditional indian sport and the young generation should learn malkam and promote it as much as possible so under the scheme of khelo india he has started giving scholarships to the students malkam players taking part in the national championships and winning the medals 10000 rupees per month so in the year they get 1 lakh 20000 rupees as scholarship then they have started 100 centers to be developed in whole of the country in different states where they are giving equipment worth 5 lakhs of rupees and they are appointing coaches also in these different centers and madhya pradesh has adopted malkham and they have decided to start malkham academies in each and every district of madhya pradesh and appointing coaches giving equipment so malkham is developing at a rapid speed they have made it uh, the state layer yeah state now. sport they have declared malkham as the state sport but though the origin of malkham is in maharashtra yeah that government actually, of maharashtra has not done anything for yeah, that yeah that actually so very far. surprising but i'm sure they have given 5% uh, reservation for uh, recruitment in the government jobs for the malkham players as well which was not there earlier uh, in the state in the state also okay that's really good so what is your vision now where do you want to see malkham now malkham is uh, like i am just an individual doing yeah. some efforts to promote malkham 
बट लाइक मी देर आर मेनी पीपल इन आवर कंट्री इन महाराष्ट्र और इन इंडिया इन डिफरेंट स्टेट्स एंड सम पीपल आर डूइंग दिस फ्रॉम एब्रॉड एज ऑल्सो टू प्रोमोट मलखम तो वी वॉन्ट टू टेक द मलखम टू द ओलम्पिक्स we want to take the malkham to the commonwealth games we want to take the malkham to the asian games but unfortunately malkham was so far not included in our national games as well now this year the national games will be conducted in gujarat in september october and malkham is one part of those competitions at the national games level that means it has been included now included in the national now after so many years but still we have to include it in the women sports festival rural games so that the people from different corners of the country must yeah. be able to take part in malkam yeah once it is competitive then people yeah. will be more interested and then the responsibility is on the us that to make more coaches we say that malkam should be made integral part of the curriculum the syllabus in the schools but for that we need lot of coaches yeah because very good if, quality coaches ha huh, if we have uh, language teacher or a math teacher or a science teacher he is not good at his job what at the most will happen children will get less marks in the exams but if a malkam coach is not good then a malkam performer will have a bad fall he will have neck injury or the yeah. fracture in the leg fracture in the hands so good coach is main requirement to promote any sport <coughs> so we But are I trying think, to a <coughs> uh, long term teachers training is required, yeah, required. Oh, and yeah. frequent teachers training course yeah new generation is coming up now what i have usually seen in the competition they try to imitate earlier champions the difficulties but they are not giving more emphasis on the basics to make their abilities strong first and then attempt the elements they are just attempting difficult elements and there are bad falls and injuries to the malkam players so good coaches are very important good judges are important there should be no partiality during the competition the best one should get the best result so to develop the game to create coaches to create judges to organize competition competitions to collect the sponsorship these are the challenges which we are trying to tackle with okay so actually a big professional team is required, required. right now right. so what do you want to tell or what kind of message you want to give to your students like you know from so many years now you are you know teaching to them they must be like you know each corner of the world right now so what are you expecting from them like in their own capacity what they can do for malakam spray exactly spray? exactly they may be may not be able to take part in the competitions because of age or because of preoccupation very busy but they should devote some time for the development of the sport in the capacity of the coaches in the capacity of the judges in the form of organization maybe creating new centers where people will come together and uh, teach and practice because malkham is not the sport where will you require a big playground yeah. or a costly equipment just a wooden pole or a cotton rope and the mats below is enough so you can start many number of malkam centers appoint somebody who knows better about malkam as a coach give him some facilities so that he can develop the students and take them for different demonstrations or competitions i am surprised that international level that georgia has got talent or the paris the france has got talent or america has got talent such international tv reality shows are also inviting people from india to give demonstration of malkham that means awareness is there now we should take advantage to promote malkham because going there and showing and people appreciate people clap but that is not enough we have to train the people over there start malkham centers over there then the game will spread so this is what is expected from the ex malkham players 
or those who have got soft corner about malkham those who have experienced the fruits of malkham in their personality development in their physical development improving their disease resistance power and surviving in calamities like corona so now there is time to give back to the sport what have they have learned i certainly it should happen now you uh, you are the one person like you know many people know about you so i think there should be many more people that exactly. people should identify mallakam with that person right. it shouldn't be like you know one person's responsibility right and i should it happen and with this particular video as well this will be our you know a small uh, i'll say a uh, contribution towards the you know the spread of malkam being yoga teacher and i know like you know yoga is also the part of the malkam so i definitely pray and wish that malkam you know spread across the world across india and it gets its recognition thank, thank you. you thank you very much for promoting malkam